In the video that we just took, we noticed that there were a bunch of uh, squash, unfortunately some cucumber beetles. I think they're striped cucumber beetles. So we're going to do a quick sampling going around to the different blossoms and seeing how many we can pick out. Is that going to be able to reach around the pollen? Oh, sorry, flower. They fly. They fly? Yep. Okay, so... This is what we're talking about. That is a striped cucumber beetle. So, right here... Let's see if we can get that. That's an egg cluster from the yellow striped cucumber beetle, which is unfortunate. So Andrea found uh, more eggs, and we also found a uh, spotted cucumber beetle. But this is the diatomaceous earth, and we just put it in a little bulb, kitty toy here. We also have a larger one, but when you just give it a puff of air, well, the wind's going, but you just spray that on the plant and the leaf. We see bad squash bugs. And do you see right here are the eggs? Andrea and I just got back from the garden and we checked underneath each of our squash plant leaves and here's what we got. In the top right corner, this is what an egg mass looks like from a type of squash bug pest. In the bottom right hand corner, that's a squash bug. Uh, they're kind of big and they almost look like a stink bug. In the bottom left hand corner, the one that just kind of wiggles over there, is the spotted cucumber beetle. And in the top left corner, that's the striped cucumber beetle. Each one of these bugs is considered a pest and can cause damage to your crops. So it's a good idea to, to get out into your garden to see what your pest populations are like before they get out of control. This is what a squash bug egg mass looks like. You can see they're kind of like a copper color, and each one is about a sixteenth of an inch in size. You got about two weeks before any uh, squash bugs hatch from this egg mass. So if you notice these in your garden, it's time to get busy and figure out a control method. We're going to try an experiment. We have two egg clusters here. They're slightly different colors, so it could be from different species, but I believe they're both squash bugs of some kind. On this experimental egg cluster, we're going to spray diatomaceous earth to see how it affects uh, the hatching and the survival rate of the eggs. And in our control plant, we are just going to leave it go and see how many of the squash bugs uh, hatch. It's been about two weeks. You can see there's a big difference in the color of the leaves. But if you take a look into our control bag where there was no diatomaceous earth, just about every single one of the squash bugs has hatched from their eggs. Uh, Every single one of these bugs would have kind of gone into the garden and caused some damage, so I'm glad we got to them while we did. Here's a look at our experimental diatomaceous earth bag. You can see that the leaf has decomposed faster and that most of the eggs out of the egg mass have turned like a blackish color. There was, however, one uh, squash bug that hatched from the egg mass, which was surprising to me because I thought I did a pretty good job at dusting the, the egg mass. This has been a fun experiment. You have about two weeks before squash bugs hatch from an egg mass. If you notice them in your garden, you have a couple options. You can physically remove any egg masses in adults. You can pour a layer of diatomaceous earth around your plants and spray the egg masses with diatomaceous earth. And there's all kinds of chemical pesticides available in home improvement stores. If you do choose the route of chemical pesticides, please make sure that you follow all of the manufacturer's directions. Best of luck in battling those garden pests. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, but most of all, we hope you enjoyed watching this video and we'll keep stopping by where we'll build, flow, and adventure together, together at...